Continuing our coverage now on the 75th anniversary of D-Day, thousands of heroes are being honored today in Normandy, France. Uh, world leaders and thousands of civilians have gathered there to commemorate the day that changed the course of World War II. Vincent Crivelli is live with us. He's got more on the tributes this morning. Vincent? Haley Owen, this morning world leaders and D-Day veterans came together to remember the sacrifices in Normandy and to renew their friendship. Red, white, and blue smoke over Normandy, France, a stark contrast to the bloody beaches where thousands of Allied service members lost their lives over seven decades ago. They should take away the enormous sacrifice that was made on that day. Only the highest color. 75 years ago, over 150,000 U.S. and Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy, which was a turning point in the war against Nazi Germany, but it came at a heavy cost. All you could hear was machine guns going. They never stopped. Every time I think about that, I get a sick feeling. You know, it always comes back. Thousands of service members lost their lives here. Americans, Canadians, Englishmen, and more. But today, many service members came back to be together. This morning, leaders from the Allied forces, including the UK, Canada, and the US, attended a ceremony celebrating service members in attendance and honored those who passed away. It was here that tens of thousands of the Americans came. The GIs who boarded the landing craft that morning knew that they carried on their shoulders not just the pack of a soldier, but the fate of the world. President Trump also spoke about how Normandy George forged an unbreakable bond between the Allied forces, which has standed the test of time. We will forever be together. Our people will forever be bold. Our hearts will forever be loyal, and our children and their children will forever and always be free. The ceremony ended with President Donald Trump and the First Lady accompanied by France's president and his wife on the overlook at Normandy Cemetery. The two leaders looking on where a bond was built between the two countries that cannot be broken. And events will continue throughout the day in Normandy honoring D-Day veterans. Check our website for more. Owen Haley, back to you.